Good morning. Good to see you. So it's very early in the morning again and um, I'm needing to get my pansies out. It, there's been a long period of heat. Um, this whole week has been plus 30 and the pansies are really struggling. In addition, I'm replacing them with some ornamental kale that I grew from seed that look very sad and I hope they recover. So I'm going to put them in and and maybe I'll add some annuals in later um, in addition to that just to add a little bit more color but for now just adding in the kale and I just want to give you a show so let me show you the pansies how sad they look hold on so you can tell they're quite leggy they've struggled we had a big rain last night but and I have some speed well too that I'll probably cut back um, and there's some more pansies just looking a little sad and raggedy. Oh, a little bit bumpy. Here's some more. I'm going to get those out of there. And I hope you can see it. Oh, there's no shadow. Uh, but right in here. Huh. Looking a little bit sad. Okay, so you might see there's still a little bit of a bloom on here. Um, hope you can see that. The bees love this plant. It's called a blue crater speedwell. And it likes, you know, a decent am uh, amount. I, I, I'm actually doing it in part shade um, location in my garden. And it does get a little bit floppy probably because it's in a little bit too much shade, but still very good. So let me maybe show you the other one, which has a little bit more blue on it left. Okay, I'll just take you around here. Okay, I'll maybe have to show you these two. They're coming in quite nicely. These are called marguerite daisies, so they're filling in quite nice. I just love these. Okay, anyways, distraction. Okay, so maybe you can see a little bit more the blue crater speed well here. Let me see. You can get in on that. And it's actually blue and not purple. Okay, let's get rid of some more plants here. This is definitely going to the rubbish. <laughs> Let me show you now. It looks rather sad actually. But it will fill in and like make a more mounding uh, type um, perennial just for the rest of the summer. So now I have to fill in all these areas. You can see there's a lot of blank areas. 
actually I probably need some more color but here we go so now this is the sad state of affairs <laughs> these should have been moved a long time ago um, and actually to be honest I pitched quite a few of them because I basically killed them didn't water them enough and um, oh and I have another tray of them so it's not completely a disaster anyways here let me plant them in I'll show you so I know I've got I don't know if you can see that let's see I know I've got a pigeon purple so this is pigeon purple well, it has a distinctive purple stem uh, but you can tell there's a few leaves missing because I've neglected them a little bit okay then I have uh, pigeon white and Pigeon White and Pigeon Victoria. Pigeon Victoria is a pink one. Pigeon White, obviously, a, um, a white one. But, <laughs> I have no idea which one is which. Because at this point, um, the Pigeon Victoria hasn't pinked up enough. So, anyway, so we'll, we'll see how it all turns out. <laughs> okay, I'll plant them in. Hold on. Some in here, just filling in the gaps. Uh, and we'll see how it all turns out. Oh, there's another spot. Okay, so you can see where I've placed them in here. Just randomly, I'm, I'm just popping them in there and seeing what's arrived. <laughs> and I got some over here too, as well, near the catmint. There's some snapdragons around there and the corbels. And and I even got a little tiny one right in there. <laughs> okay, let me show you where else. Okay, I've got here. And I've got in here. And here where I've got some gaps too as well. This is a fern I just planted. It didn't look so doesn't look so good. But I'm sure it will be nice eventually. There we go. And one there. Okay. And let me show you these containers. Don't these look great? <laughs> this look fantastic. And this one is even better. There we go. And oh, I can put one in here. Let me show you where. Right there. Right there. And right in there. It's a little bit sunnier. I took a little break to film. It should fill in nicely. And then around the corner I've got some. Right in here. Let me just show you what I've got here. Some cabbage that I planted. Looks like it's the camera's focusing okay on it. And I've got some foxgloves that are growing up. And you can see the the ferns are getting a little bit dry. But the echinacea is coming in right here. And these taller fox loaves are coming in. And I planted in this area, you can see right in here. They'll just fill in that area here. And the hostas are getting a little bit too much sun, so I have to might consider moving them at some point. Then there's these ones and these. Good. There's my crazy dahlia. Oh yeah, and I planted one in here. There's my Proven Winner Super Tunia Bubblegum, Verbena, and again the Rocky Fuchsia Salvia, so it should look good. And I also have a blue uh, sorry, a purple fountain grass back there that's starting to grow in. So guys, I'm hopeful for these cabbages. Hopefully they will work out. I think they'll look really nice. Um, usually I grow them every year and they get about a nice big foot around and it's so cheap to grow them from seed. So I'll give you an update later.
Till the next time. Bye.